Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today's video, I'm going to show you a brief video on how to do this right, your speaker upgrade in your uh, truck equipped with Bose. This is a GMT 800 series Bose, so it could be a Yukon, Yukon XL, Suburban, Sierra, Silverado, Escalade, etc, etc, etc. This is for cars with the Bose option, so you're going to go from this speaker right here, this Bose speaker, to a component speaker, and I'm going to be using Alpine. And then this is the Alpine Type R tweeter as well. So I'm using Alpine Type R components and Alpine Type R tweeter. I'll show you how to install the speaker and the tweeter. It's pretty easy to do. And there's also some things on Amazon you can buy that aren't very expensive that will make the uh, swap sound a lot better. And it's pretty dang easy to do. And I'll show you how. But first, I'm going to take the door panel off. I'm not going to show you how to do that. It's pl plenty of videos on how to do that. Get this off and we'll be back. Okay, door panel's off. I'm going to focus on the speaker, getting it out. I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver and pry the top down and out, and that speaker is just going to pop out of there. You're going to have this factory connector back here, and you're just going to push this in and pull out. At the same time, hopefully, come on, coordinate. There we go. All right, so I have some extra, like, sound treatment stuff laying around, the butyl rubber stuff. So I'm going to just throw some in here. It's not necessary. This is Noiko. I'll link it down below. It's really good as far as, like, a budget option. Um, I'm going to throw some of this in the door panel. There's a nice flat spot under this raised ridge right here down this. There's a big, long flat spot. I'm going to put a piece about the size of this down in there. I'll take this little roller and roll it out. All that does is it makes a seal with the metal and it reduces the amount of echoes that the metal or vibrations that the metal does. Not a huge deal if you're just doing door speakers, but it helps a little bit. I also cut a little scrap piece of noise deadening stuff and I'll kind of cut it up into three and put it around the inside of the where the speaker screws in, like back here. This is a Metra 72456. Eight, <laughs> 72, four, five, six, eight speaker wire adapter. What this does, it goes from the factory Bose plug right here, and this end clips in to that, creating your speaker leads. And they come out as little connectors that plug right into your speaker, so you don't have to wire in any connectors at all. It's just right there, all in one. This way, if you ever wanna go back to factory, let's say you're selling your uh, truck, um, and you've got expensive speakers in here and you wanna keep them, you could take them out and then put the stock speakers back in, just unclip this and clip the speaker back into this. That is the first important cheap upgrade that you can do. And I'll link those down below. They're very they're very inexpensive, but you can also get them at like a Best Buy. Almost every Best Buy in the country will have those in stock. They're very common connectors. 72, 4, 5, 6, 8 metric connectors. I'll link them down below just in case. The second thing you want is something like this. This is a roll of single-sided sticky foam. It's very thin. It's about 10 millimeters wide. And it's just basically a foam that is going to go on the back of your new speaker around the edges. All the way around the edge, you're gonna put this foam. What that does is when this speaker is sealed to this door, instead of it hit being metal on plastic, you have, you have this foam, thin foam barrier in between that is gonna prevent rattling if anything comes loose. And it's also going to provide a better seal around the speaker, the back of the speaker to this. Now my Bose speakers are still in great shape. They work just fine. If yours are trashed, you can cut the whole inside of this out and you can basically put your six and a half speaker inside this bracket I, from what I understand. Also a note of warning, these 82-3002 Metro speaker adapters, they fit in this hole and they clip in like your factory speaker clips in and then you attach your speakers to them, but they don't fit six and a half inch speakers. They say that they fit six and a half inch speakers right there, and they say online that they do, but they do not. So do not buy these adapters. I bought them thinking I would show you how to use them, but they don't work. All right, I'm gonna put some foam on the back of this. Remember how it looked. Again, I'm using the Alpine Type Rs. We'll be right back. Okay, so now there's a ring of thin foam. It's about, again, it's about 10 millimeters thick, about a centimeter thick, all the way around the edge. Now listen to this. Remember last time? hear that now it's just the foam in between the plastic and the metal so it's less rattly and again it makes a better seal there too right, i'm gonna get my center punch center punch the locations of my holes for this speaker i'm gonna i'm gonna drill it directly to the door since i have this foam gasketing and don't leave the video now because there's one more crucial thing that you need to make this sound better and i'm gonna show it to you it's super cheap on amazon let me get this drilled to the door and then we're gonna move up to the tweeter after that okay speaker is on it's secured on there it ain't going anywhere 
Um, the next thing you're going to want to use is these right here. These are little circles of foam, right? And what you want to do, they come in two pieces. So you can take this, if you wanted to go the extra mile, you could take this. There's an adhesive backing on this. You could stick it to the inside of the door, back where you put the sound treatment, to get a little bit more, less reverberations from the speaker going back and out. But I'm not worried about that. The main thing is this right here, this ring. This is built exactly for a six and a half speaker. And this ring, you'd peel off the adhesive backing, get it off here, just like that. And then this sticks to the outside of the speaker. And this is like a memory foam kind of density. If you can see when I push my thumb in, it takes a while for it to come back out. This is gonna seal this speaker against the door panel when you smash the door panel up against here and to secure it back on your door. And that creates a seal that where the sound does not get lost out this way or out that way in behind the door panel, it all comes out this way. So this should help your sound a lot, especially with mid bass and just more output from the speaker. Less is getting lost out around, it's all getting directed this way out. All right, now let's move on to the tweeter. Okay, so first you gotta get your A-pillar out. This is the A-pillar I'm looking towards the front of the vehicle here. To get this out, you're gonna wanna pop this top off a little bit to where you can get your fingers behind it. And you want to pull in towards, like in towards the steering wheel. Like if you're sitting in the passenger seat, you wanna pull it towards your left shoulder, right? So let me get this out. Just like that. Now, then you can just kind of pry it up from this side over here, like that. And then there's a uh, same thing in the door kind of with the speaker connector. I'm gonna put my screwdriver in there and pull her out. Okay, now the reason you pull this that way is you see this is the surface right here that this pillar is connecting and there's this connector right here. If you try to pull straight back this way, towards your right shoulder, if you're sitting in the passenger seat, it's gonna snap this connector off probably. So when you're putting it back in, you put this side in, hibbity hoobla, like that. You get all that stuff in. And then same thing, it goes in, if you can see it goes in at an angle like this. All right, enough explaining about the A-pillar. Let's get you in here and show you how to replace the tweeter. Okay, now tweeter, this is your A-pillar. There's gonna be, there's this is two separate pieces, right? So this is the main A-pillar. This is part of the retaining clip that holds this piece in, but this also holds the tweeter in. Now there's two spots. There's one on this side, you'll see the little slit right there there's a tab on the tweeter that slips right into that and there's one on the opposite side as well although you probably can't see it you might be able to see it right here so you're going to separate those two tabs so you can get this tweeter out there's one there we go tweeters out now you have to take the tweeter out before you take this piece out this piece will not come out without the tweeter out of it if the tweeter's in there it compresses the clips out so you can't push them in but now you can just kind of twist it. Now you can just kind of twist this piece and get that out. And now that this piece is out, you can take your tweeter. This is the type R again, and I'm going to push it into here. All right, and then also on the type R, I'm going to remove this ring up top that surrounds the tweeter. And then I'm going to press that into here. Just like so. Here we go. And that tweeter is in there. We're gonna feed the wire through and put this back into here. There we go. That is on just like that. That's what it looks like in the back and the front. So you retain your factory look. Okay, now if you remember with the door speakers, there was a special connector. This is also a special harness, but I don't, I could not find the actual adapter like from Metra to go from this to just speaker leads. So I'm going to cut this tweeter right here and make my own leads. Okay, so tweeters in. This is all wired up from the factory. This light green wire coming from this harness. This is the harness for the tweeter. Um, so out is your light green wire. And then I think this is dark green. I'm colorblind, guys, so I don't know. But I know the lighter one is the positive and the darker one is the negative. Negative. So you're going to hook that up accordingly to your tweeter. Usually your black stripe is going to be negative. Not always, but usually. So we're just going to plug this back in. We'll probably wrap this in electric tape and then secure it to this with electrical tape to keep it kind of held down and not 
rattling around. Actually, I'll probably use Tessa tape. Uh, if you haven't used Tessa tape, Tessa tape is like electrical tape with a fuzzy outside, and that keeps a lot of the rattling and stuff down, so I'll probably do that instead. All right, guys, install is done. Door panel's back on, A pillar's back on. I'm gonna link the 72, 4, 5, 6, 8 metric connectors. That's for your speakers. Um, I'm gonna link this speaker gasketing, 10 it's like a 10 millimeter um, single sticky side speaker gasketing down below. And I'm gonna link these, they call them speed rings, but you gotta be careful on which ones you buy. Some of them won't fit six and a half speakers. These will. Also remember what I said about the 82-3002, don't buy these, they won't work for six and a half inch speakers. If you're just doing six speakers or five and a half, yeah, they'll be fine. Anyways guys, that's the end of the video. Hopefully this was helpful. You can leave a thumbs up if you want. There's gonna be a whole video series project on this truck. So if you wanna see that, you can subscribe. You know how to do all the button stuff. You're a grown up. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and bye.